Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 55 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So, a quick PSA. Um, next week, for the next few weeks at least, um, there's not going to be an Elden Ring on Friday. I have a different game I'm going to put here, one that I believe needs way more attention than it's probably going to get. Uh, it's a game coming out of uh, early access called Hard Space Shipbreakers, and it is absolutely my kind of thing. Um... I'm concerned it won't necessarily make a good Let's Play material, but we're going to do two, three episodes anyway, just so that I can give a reasonable view of what the gameplay is actually like on that thing. But anyway, back to this one. We've done our research. Reni, uh, spelt R-E-N-N-I, was the NPC that gave us the spirit call in Bell um, from the former master of Torrent. Um, she appears to be the same character that was in the intro sequence uh, at the same point that the narrator was talking about the shards of the Elton Ring, demigods and um, the offspring of Queen Marakai. Uh, Rane, spelled R-A-N-N-I, um, is the daughter of Queen Ronalda, spelled R-E-N-N-A-L-A, uh, and she was apparently responsible for the Black Knight. Um, the Queen of the Moon uh, is the one who stood opposed to the Golden Host and so shouldn't be a demigod. We believe that Ronalda is also the one who has a Shard of the Elden Ring, albeit it was a gift to her rather than something that she has. So these might be three entirely separate people with slightly different names, but the impression we was given was that only one of Ronaldo's daughters remained. So who Rene is, is anyone's guest. But we have made a decision. We are not going to explore here today. We're going to go talk to her mother before we come and knock down her door. Uh, in addition, that can go on this weapon. So we now actually have the offhand weapon here with ice. So another reason that we want to, or I'm going to explore... Uh, oh yeah, we haven't been down here yet. Um, because that won't take long, we'll quickly sweep this area just to make sure we haven't missed anything. Uh, actually no, because we've got to do the entirety of this area here in reality. So yeah, no. Nah. Let's go here. Um, I'm also thinking that there's a higher probability of us finding spells in this location rather than anywhere else. So that's principally why we're going here first. Because if we're going to find a book of ice magic, my money is on it being here. Noisy lift. I wonder if there's anything underneath it. We'll leave the lift up here and then we'll check it downstairs later. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Ooh, pretty. Deadly. Oh yeah, and also because we have an extra spell slot, I finally put this on permanently. Here or something. The fact I can hear something but not see it is very disconcerting. Magic grease. A 
If I could identify where the sound was coming from, it would be a lot less of a problem. It's gotta be in one of these cages? Those birds are alive. Can we set them free? No. Hello. That's going to be the best way to deal with you guys. I want to be able to sneak up. He see me. I think they're only going to have basic spells. Like, oh yeah, but they can chain them. I forgot they can chain them. They drop a staff that I want. Once we get our um, intelligence above 40, the staff they have is slightly better. That's fine. As long as they haven't seen me, then we can potentially still back attack them. Come on. Fine. Have it your way. Uh, no, I want you to throw that up, please. There we go. Uh, we should probably... We don't need this anymore, so let's... At least we don't need it at the minute, so let's swap back to these. Let's prioritize these. that one. Uh, what was I thinking? I don't need to rest in the minute. I was thinking of spending... a bunch of these and getting myself another level. So that I have less experience to potentially waste away. We're not going to rest while we still have basically all of our flasks. That's a good point. We should assume that there are illusionary walls all over the place in here. Anything that looks like it potentially could potentially be hiding something. Now what the hell are you guys doing here of all things? I don't think you in particular are weak to this, but you've seen me and you're tracking me. Magical undead. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know the looks of that. That looks like he's going to break. Sniffing stone fours. We should be in a graveyard or grave over there. Oh, it ate my mana. That nasty, they eat mana. Get some light on since it's now raining and night time. Game saying we don't want you to be able to see anything. Come on, you're standing behind him! How could you not back attack from there? So far, we have found nothing exciting. But we are more or less still just at the entrance way. do enough damage really to be worth it possible exception with if I can hit all four of them that only hit one of them weird let's be careful about how far back we go okay they can be frostbitten way more effective weapon. Get around the back of him. I don't think we're going to get snuck up on here. Hide and spot. Is this a water wheel? Am I here in the bridge? I might be here in the bridge. Yay, jumps. I hate jumps in Dark Souls games.
I am going to go and do that jump in a second. I don't trust that bridge in the slightest. I just wasn't entirely sure that we had um, poked our head over here. Ah, we have. Okay, that's fine. I'm not getting much of an academy vibe. <laughs> At the minute. I hear a shiny. What's the purpose of this? Decoration, probably. Oh, wonderful, they see me. <laughs> Marionette, soldier ashes. above us, that noise. Sure I could have seen... An, well, I'm sure I saw an enemy over here. From the other side of the bridge. walking manner. Come on over here. I don't want to disturb your other friend that I could use to get mana from. And health. Looks door like. Aha! We found our water wheel. We found our way down. And in a bit, we'll get to see how much of a liar Patches is. Hopefully, we'll get to see that at the end of the day. I kind of want. What I want to happen is I want Patches to be telling the truth. I want to... Dogs! Go away, dogs! Whew. Dogs dealt with. Standing behind him, why can't I get a back attack? Give me back my health. I still hear it dinging a linging. And there's an item down there.
spectral lance. I think that's just going to be... Uh, actually, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Um, once I've got enough mana, I will use my spirit calling bell to call in... Um, uh, I need something mobile. I don't think the wolves are going to be particularly good at the minute. Spectral lance. Occult! Interesting. That's my first occult weapon. Occult weapons basically scale off of arcane. They change the scale to predominantly off of arcane. So if you're going for a... Um, so bleed base build. I know if you're going off a dragon communion base build, that's really good to have on a weapon. I apologize for the sneaking. No, I don't. You'll have to deal with all the sneaking. I don't think we have enough for uh, a rally yet. Probably any summons. This. Everything feels like a trap in a Dark Souls game. Saying something feels like a tra trap is like permanently or perpetually stating the obvious. Here's a question. I can't see it from here. I need to know whether or not they flip over when they reach the top. Okay, they do. So you'd need to jump off there if you were going to ride them anywhere. Now, where does that lead? Okay, let's drop down the location where it seems safest to do so. If we have to teleport back to a, grace, um, a side of grace, then we have to teleport back to a side of grace. I assume... Oh, we can summon an Aurelio at this point. Let's actually use my... Ah, oh, no, we can only summon them in for there. Not for here. Well, I can drop down here. You're sitting down, so I may be able to get behind you quick enough. I count three of you over there. Caravan Knight arm set. That's an actual knight as opposed to a cuckoo. Now we're told it's underneath the water wheel. I don't think we make that drop. I think we have to get back up. Ha, there's our way back up. Wasn't there a... Yeah. Shiny over here. Ah, that's why we didn't see it. It's slightly above ground. Ah, 
I see gravity. Uh, they don't know we have shields, but I kind of want to be, um... There's going to be some kind of mini-boss here, and it's going to be that thing. Previously, I've taken these things on on horseback. They're not super nasty. They're not super nasty, but they are nasty. Come on, please, spell. Yes. We finally have a gravity spell. Rather than just a uh, gravity item. But I'm betting this is probably going to require a little bit of arcane. I could be wrong, this might be pure magic. It's pure magic. Pulls flow towards the caster. That is potentially useful for our build. Because... We are predominantly melee. We did use all of our magic there. <laughs> kind of a problem. Okay, so our only path is up. Up and then jump off at the top before it tips us off. How close does this come? Close enough that we shouldn't be concerned. Our exit point is on this side, although I don't know whether or not we're going to need to run. I'm going to assume some amount of running is required. I'd like to find another side of grace before I head down. Looks like a contraption that can be moved. Indication there is a boss up ahead. Or something nasty. Peek, peek. Ah, we found the source of his popper. What we're trying to find is the library. Uh, okay, we can respawn everything, I don't mind. I assume... We're getting there. Because our immediate plan is something stupid... I wonder how much damage that actually does. Experimentation can wait. Uh, because we're about to do something potentially very stupid... 5,000. It's 
2000. Uh, I wish it would tell me here rather than when I try to sell them. Uh, that's eight. I get a feeling this is 16. Is this 1000? 1,200. 1,200. That's 3,600. Did I math right? Nope, we mathed 1,000 over. Um, that's fine. Okay, we're going down on the water wheel. Actually, no, let's fin finish exploring this outer area first. Is this how we're supposed to get down? We jump up onto there? No, because we can get over there, so what's the point of this? Because we can definitely stand on the water wheel from here. This is the point of this. I should have made it daytime. Okay, that's a path down. And there's an important item there. Uh, we haven't actually gone into the academy grounds proper. We're still on the outskirts of it. So that's going to be a little bit confusing for me. Um, trying to understand my own map in point of view. No, don't get up. Keep on your work. Now I've got to kill all of you. I see what this is. It's disabled at the minute, but this is for grinding um, glimstones. It's a grinder. That's what the water wheel's powering. Bye bye, item. Okay, where's our off point? Where's that side? It looks like potentially we can jump off on either side. Although there doesn't appear to be much on this side. There's another platform there. Explore that later. Okay, duly noted, there are already dead things down here. So how we get back up. Yeah, there is a little alcove over there, and there's more stuff all the way down at the bottom, but how do we get down there?
more dead. That implies something. Either all of these are going to come back to life, or there is something down here. Avianet soldier ashes. Okay, well now that we've encountered them down here, we can expect to find them up there in the proper location. Not seeing any further way down other than potentially getting onto that lift and continuing down. But if we do that... Ah, we've got a better view from over here. There is grass down there. I can see trees. The question is simply whether or not we can survive that drop. Okay, let's get everything ready. Uh, let's make sure our help is maxed. I want that spell on the ready. I want that ready. We're going to try to get onto the other side first. Actually, let me just um, poke something. This wasn't the thing I was going to poke, but it figured like it felt like a good thing to poke. I just want to poke this. That's nothing. And I think this here is just to show you that, yeah, there is actually stuff down there. You can make it. The question is how to do it safely. This is how you do it safely. Good call, Nathan. Good call. I hope there's a sight of grace down here because I don't like those jumps. Okay. There it is. Patches, I have no faith in you. Prove me wrong. But give me a side of grace first. Give me a side of grace and then prove me wrong. This is an ambush territory as well. A couple of items down there. This one first, then those items. And then we maximise our health and defence. Lost Ashes of War. This is as far down as we go. 
Okay, we want to maximize our defense. Um, I still want to be able to roll, mind. Um, let's see. Reduces damage of impacts and headshots. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. Raises immunity, raises robustness. I think the robustness is effectively defense. That's HP. Oh, did I not? I think I know where you can get it, but no, I didn't. I didn't buy the um the red one of these. The one that does health. Ah, right, that's, um, yeah, no, we don't want that. I mean, it might do magic damage. We'll use that one. Smithing Stone 5. There's an item behind it as well. How did we get captured by that thing? Lied. Okay, Frost probably isn't going to do much about this thing. Patches, your information is bad. Uh, I think we're better off just teleporting out of here now. I think we have everything down here. I thought I saw something. I did not. I mean, we can get on this to get back out, but I really don't think there's a reason to. Let's just take the safer route. <laughs> In which case, I just want to have a peer down. That's where we came from, so... Okay, that's fine. Patches! A word, if I may.
Welcome to Patch's Emporium. What you spoke of before. Oh yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. And I heard if you let yourself get caught in it, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Ur tree. <laughs> Yeah, that's not true. Unless chuck you out straight at the base of the earth tree means it will kill you and chuck you out straight at the base of the earth tree. I wonder if you have to let it kill you. Oh yeah. There's a seven. <laughs> now I'm tempted to try that second thing. Okay, what if I let it kill me? I am tempted. Tempted. Do I want to try that? Do we want to sneak our way back down there and let it kill us? No, I have a great rune equipped. Maybe I'll come back and try that at a later date when I don't have a great rune equipped. Damn, I was hoping a one shot. You didn't see nothing. My table. Stop hitting me with your book. Okay, there's an item this way. Hit all bookshelves. This is very dark. Conspicuous scroll. There it is. I have to hit every wall. This is going to take us ages. Hey, there's Glintstone Crafting 5. Is this the one we need? Not that we can make... or Not that we have an endless supply of the materials we're going to need for it. Oh no, we can actually already make Frost Grease. Magic Grease, Drawstring Magic Grease, Magic Bone Arrows. Excellent. So we have... Here we go. And we can also now craft Magic Grease, now that that's helpful. I forgot we can straight up craft this already. And then the bolts was the other thing. What's in this spell book? Yeah, that's conspicuous. Sorcery scroll from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria um, details superior sorceries taught to scholars worthy of don in the stone crowd and studying certain cons um, conspicuous. That can't be what it is. Glint, stone, comet shard and star shower. Just a smithing stone. Bit of that down. Huh. 
How do we get out of here? This... Oh no, this is taking us to where we want to go. It's just a bit of a climb. There it is. You bastards! You absolute bastards! <laughs> there goes my great rune. Are we fat rollable? I think we should be, yeah. We need to put that back on again now. I might put the uh, another... Actually, no. Let's activate another great rune. And we'll keep using them until we hit a boss. Because we're expecting the boss to require, or any boss to require, more than just a single attack. Or a single kill. Um... And I suspect we're going to be able to get a reasonable amount of back attacks off in this area, so let's put these back on. I probably should have waited until after I had jumped over that um, thing that we just fell down. I after it was safe. If it wasn't raining... Oh damn it, we just lost the Grave Rune. If I hadn't have done that, then I should have gone down to the Iron Virgin. Ooh, crown. That's headgear. Curious as to specifically what it does, though. One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rey Lucaria's scholars, who pursuits are deemed worthy, increases intelligence to the detriment of HP. Um, by what amount? It also weighs a ton. Yeah, I shouldn't have used the Grey Rune. If I hadn't have used the Grey Rune, I could have gone down and let the Iron Virgin kill me. Never mind, we'll try to remember for next time. And again, they're not looking this way. Hey, a pop boy. These are going to be trouble in an area like this. Backstab that one. Should have kept firing. Announced your presence. Well, we have a door. We've already hit this once. Ritual pot. I'm going to be paranoid about all the bookshelves. They're all hiding something. Uh, really? They're just going to come down one by one. 
The sorcerers come one by one. You're supposed to be intelligent. What's through the door? Nothing. get that staff please okay I think that was the last one in here you're not dead if only no fog that would have been a good place for screenshots. I have no reason to suspect that these are illusionary walls. It's just I don't trust any of the walls in this place. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Radica. You look different. Ah, illusionary walls in here don't have books in them. We shall have to find a second wall to confirm this. I mostly just want the near side or near area made visible. to come up here. To knock that down? Okay, what I'm suspecting is going to happen here we're going to open that chest and then something's going to spawn up here and start attacking us. Otherwise, there's no reason for this ladder. Never mind, I found the reason for this ladder. I don't think that four kills us. Stone sword key, nice. Comet. Okay, we're running out of time. I can't see how far down that is. Are a living pot which means potentially there is a big living pot in here raven school talisman You really gonna make me smash you? Yeah. 
Okay, let's have a look at this new talisman. Graven School Talisman. Pervades its potency of sorceries, just flat out. A talisman depicting the School of Graven Mages, uh, the nightmare of the Academy. Pervades its potency of sorceries. The primeval, the primeval current is forbidden tradition. Uh, is a forbidden tradition of glintstone sorcery. To those who, um, to those who clever, cleave at its teachings, the act of collecting sorceries to fashion them into seeds of stars is but another pain uh, of scientific or path of scientific in inquiry. Words. Uh, is this back where I think it is? Yep. We have gone full circle. If I can find another site of grace, though. That would be awesome. Oh. Well, it would seem a shame to end the episode here. I doubt very much that this particular build is going to work because I'm expecting the caster subscription. Nice little mini boss. Sight of Grace! Yay! And more spell slots. Hmm. We have a Sight of Grace. I just want to see if I'm going to get immediately attacked or if I can take a screenshot out here. Ah no, perfect place for a screenshot. Assuming that I don't get attacked by just standing here. This is absolutely an arena. There's crabs in here. So things are going to attack us here, but hopefully we can get a screenshot from here. Anyway, so before... Before we do anything... We have a scroll to give to our lady here. There you are. Shall we commence? Give scroll. Ah, oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Okay, let's see what these are. These are expensive is what these are. So that's a much more powerful version of that. And I think that's just a flat out upgrade to this. Can I afford them both? I can afford them both with 500 more souls. 500 more runes. 
It's a three of these. We can only cast one of them. Okay. Let's head back over to here. We're not going to continue exploring. Um, debate parlor. Church of the Cuckoo. Oh, that's um, the bottom of the cave. So I think it's this one. Where we met our wolf friend that could cast spells. Unfortunately... Leandro or Lian, Lian, ah, Lynetta didn't last very long. Uh, memorize spells, so the ones that we can actually cast. We can cast neither Comet Shard nor Comet. Both of which, yeah, they're, they're a direct increase to these. They're just going to deal more damage, potentially take longer to cast. Um, the other one was this one. Is this going to work the way I think this is going to work? Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. Anyway, I will fix my spells later, but for now, so long as we don't get attacked by coming and standing out here. We shall call it a day. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Monday. We'll only be uh, there'll only be four episodes next week. Um, again, something else will be on this Friday slot. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed the show. And hopefully, I will see you next time. Cheerio. So I died off camera shortly after I finished recording, before I'd finished editing. So we now no longer have anything to lose other than a thousand souls. Runes. So um. Eat me. Eat me again. Oh, bugger me. Patches was telling the truth. Um, we are prevented from teleporting. So I'm not going to be able to do anything in my free time. This is what we're doing next week. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll see you next time then. Cheerio, I guess.